Now to business where the Nigerian Customs Service and CS in collaboration with the Nigerian Energy Support Program has launched an advanced ruling system to create a more transparent business environment for stakeholders in the trade space in the country. Controller General of the Nigerian Customs Service, Mr. Bashir Adewale Adeniyi, in his remarks at the event in Abuja, described the scheme as a critical mechanism in trade facilitation for the country. Business correspondent Ile Meje reports. Speaking, the Comptroller General of the Nigerian Customs Service, Mr. Bashir Adewale Adeniyi, pointed out that the project will foster a conducive business environment for traders. Today, we shall be taking the first major step towards the launch of the Nigerian Customs Service Advanced Ruling, starting with the stakeholder engagement which the PRO announced will commence immediately after this launch. Advanced Ruling, as we have learned from the previous uh, communication, is a critical mechanism that allows traders to obtain binding decisions from customs administrations on the classification, origin, and valuation of goods before their importation. This tool is essential for promoting trade facilitation, for reducing compliance costs, and fostering a conducive business environment. And recognizing the importance of this, both the World Customs Organization, WCO, and the World Trade Organization, WTO, have emphasized its significance in facilitating international trade and promoting customs compliance. The Comptroller General of the Customs assured that this is in line with the President Bola Ahmed Tinibu's commitment to ensuring a huge free trade while highlighting achievements. The launch of advanced ruling at this time aligns with the policy directive of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu's administration to facilitate trade for legitimate traders. This is reflected in the policy advisory document of government which highlights several achievements, such as the approval to decongest the ports and make them free and accessible for importers and operators. Additionally, the recent inauguration of the Single Window Steering Committee by the President underscores high-level commitments to enhancing trade facilitation in Nigeria. He further reiterated efforts of both the staff and partners while pledging more support. It is essential to acknowledge the initiatives like advanced ruling necessitates investment in capacity building for both officers and stakeholders. We will be committed to leveraging our internal capacity while exploring collaboration opportunities with external partners like GIZ. The height of the event was the training sessions on capacity building and how to explore collaboration opportunities with external partners in order to boost effective trade facilitation. Ile, Emeje, Aso Television News.